Islamic Activism, Shifting the Focus from Battlefield to Peace. Every mission has to adopt a way or method of activism. The Islamic method is very unique. In every other field, the methods adopted involve denying others. But the method of Islam is very unique. That is, it is based on acceptance of others. For example, the greatest incident of the Prophet's life was the Treaty of Hudabiyah. It has been called clear victory in the Quran. At the site of Hudabiyah, the Prophet and his opponents entered into negotiation with each other. Then, an agreement was concluded between the two sides. It was a no-war pact. Everybody knows that when the treaty was concluded, the Prophet began to dictate its terms on paper. When the Prophet asked Ali to write, this is what Muhammad the Messenger of God and Suhail ibn Amr have agreed upon, the opponents rejected this, saying they denied that the Prophet was indeed a messenger from God. They demanded him to refer to himself as Muhammad ibn Abdullah in the treaty document. The Prophet did not disagree with this opponent, nor was he adamant over what he had got written. Within seconds, the Prophet asked Ali to write, This is what Muhammad ibn Abdullah and Suhail ibn Amr have agreed upon. The entire group of companions became unhappy over this. But this is what the Prophet finally got written. He concluded the peace treaty at Hudabiyah and decided to return to Medina. On the way back, a verse was revealed which said that the Prophet had been granted clear victory. Later, history also established that this event proved to be one which laid the path for greater victory for the Prophet. It is strange that a treaty of defeat became a treaty of victory. I reflected on this and realized that the way of Islam is not one of confrontation. Rather, it is to create an opportunity and to avail of it. This is why the Prophet prevented conflict at Hudabiyah and entered into an agreement. Thus, peace was established between the two sides. How did this help? It opened up opportunities for work. All fighting ended. Swords were put away. So, the Prophet managed the problem, brought it to an end, and then planned for his mission in a peaceful atmosphere. This is a very wise method. I believe that no one after the Prophet understood this method in entire history. This is why after the Prophet, it was never utilized again. In the present age, we again have an opportunity. Muslims have a chance to do planning along right lines by understanding the opportunities available to them. The method of shifting matters from the field of confrontation to the field of peace is a victorious method as it gives you opportunity to do planning. This is how the Prophet did planning after the Treaty of Hudabiyah. Islam tells us to plan, manage problems, and subsequently achieve success. This is a very wise method. I have written about it in detail in my book, The Prophet of Peace. If you want to understand this method, you must read this book, The Prophet of Peace.